what advice would you give to up and coming leaders in the acquisition community? So we have to be bold. We, we have to be out there thinking ahead, be proactive and not be afraid to stand up for our profession. I think all too often in our profession, we've allowed people to call us administrative. Uh, I've heard people call us paper pushers. I like to think of us as enablers of the mission. I say the word mission at least four or five times per day. And when I stand in front of my audience, whether it's my team or others, I talk about the mission. We are enablers of the mission. We're part of a CXO suite, uh, the manage, what we call the management directorate at DHS, but the CXO suite. We work in partnership with the CFO, the CIO, the chief security officer, our chief readiness support officer, and others to create effective solutions that enable the delivery of the mission. Without us, it's gonna be hard not to be able to do the mission because we do rely on contractor resources. We do rely on products and services that are used by our first responders. So I think it's extremely important that our acquisition leaders stop thinking about ourselves as writing contracts or processing procurements and focus on what we really do. And that is we are enablers of the mission. We are here to provide the best advice and counsel to the customers that we serve, those programs that help bring products and services to our first responders. We are there to provide solutions, to enable them. And I use words like mission and enablement of that mission and partnerships and working with industry. And the industry is our partner. They're not just this thing that's over there that you get to criticize every now and then or blame for what didn't go well. They're our partners. We work together. Our success is shared and so are our failures. So I think that that's the advice that I would give to acquisition leaders. You've got to talk about the mission. You've got to focus on the mission. You've got to focus on being proactive. We have to comply with law and regulation, not saying we don't have to do that. We have to strike that balance though. We have to know how to enable that compliance and enable delivery of the mission. And we have to find solutions. And that's what I tell my folks all the time. Um, you've heard me talk about my four priorities. The first one being inspire and motivate people. Second one, deliver exceptional results. Third one, enhance program capabilities. And the fourth one, of course, promote meaningful communications. It is all those things tied together that we have to accomplish as acquisition leaders. And I encourage those who come after me and those who join me in this leadership journey to make sure that they're always thinking about the missions they serve. And it doesn't matter what agency you're at, there's always a mission that you are serving.